Speaker, I do move that the bill for an act to amend the Engineers Registration Council Act, Cap E11 Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004, and for other related matters, be heard for the second time. I so move. Speaker, honorable colleagues, Mr. Speaker, the current act. The Council for the Regulation of Engineering in Nigeria Act has, it has had a long history. First, it first came into effect in 1970, strictly for engineers. But following agitations in 1990, it was amended by Decree 27. And that is what we call the engineering family today. With the return of democracy in Nigeria, the enabling decrees became an act of the National Assembly, the Engineers Registration Act, Cap E11 of 2004. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, the role of engineering and technical services in this country cannot be overstated. 90% of our activities are ruled by engineering. If we had to take a bath this morning, you will remember the engineering, the mechanical engineering aspects of our lives. It has to be conducted by transporting water to your bath. Mr. Speaker, you had to sleep in a house last night. If you had to move to this parliament today, you came by a vehicle. And by the mere fact that I'm tr speaking through this microphone or public address system, it's been put into effect by the effort of engineers. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, it is very clear that even when we have to diagnose ourselves of any ailment. It comes into effect through the efforts of engineers by way of medical engineering. So we cannot be absent-minded with regard to what role engineering plays in our lives. But the objective of this bill or this amendment is to cure some of the defects that have been noticed over time, because engineering is a contemporary profession. Its practice has immediate effect on our lives. And the bill seeks to address some obvious deficiencies and defects that include, but not limited, one, the fact that it does not empower, the act, the present act does not empower current to have oversight responsibility over companies engaged in engineering jobs, nor the power to discipline and prosecute works practicing engineering in Nigeria. Presently, the current act only looks at those who are registered, but those who are practicing, who are not within the engineering family, you, don't, you can't discipline them. So it is necessary that we get those of them who are practicing as quacks either to register and have the effect or also be subject to the dictates of the act. Number two is the act in its current form is limited to the registration and licensing of engineering personnel and firms. The Act presently lacks stringent penalties on offenses as well as their enforcement. Then there is also the need to expand the membership of the Council. Presently, some companies and entities that are engaged in engineering activities are not part of the Council. You can imagine saving a man in his absence. So it is necessary that construction firms 
are made to have representation in the council. It is also important to have manufacturing firms to have representation in the council, as well as consulting firms. The Act has also made it compulsory for members for Engineering Corps of the Armed Forces to have representation in the council. Presently, it is restricted or it is available to the discretion of the minister. But now, it is necessary uh, that they have representation in the council and current presently finds them very useful. It is also necessary that current should be enabled to earn additional revenue by the penalties they try to enforce. Presently, they are funded through federal government uh, appropriation in the Act, but I think this could be better. And the more or the earlier government is free from uh, subjecting them to the use of this revenue, the better for us. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, the bill has 22 sections, three schedules, and an explanatory memorandum. And it provides one after the other the solutions to the defects I've mentioned. One, the bill will seek or seek to expand its membership from 26 to 29 in order to accommodate representatives from consulting firms, construction industry, and manufacturing industry. Sections 1 6 to provide for the appointment of one person Order. from the armed forces Order, or please. paramilitary uh, Silence, honorable members, please. on rotation basis. Order, please. Honorable members, please listen in silence. Honorable Speaker, honorable colleagues, Section 18, which deals with offenses and penalties, makes it liable for any person or organization who offers engineering services and works or charges a professional fee without a valid license issued by the council to pay a stipulated fine. It also provides in Section 18.6 it deals with the power to arrest and prosecute engineering please, organizations members, please. not registered with the council. Order. And upon conviction by the engineering tribunal, such organizations shall forfeit all proceeds of the transaction to the federal government. Please allow the DS, please. Please, Section members, allow the DS. One, two, three, please. Provide for the establishment Honorable of Nena engineering Ofiji. Honorable Kaita. Resume your seat, please. Charged with the duties of monitoring firms and ensuring that engineering is practiced in Nigeria in accordance with relevant codes of engineering practice in the protection of our development and economic investment. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I do appeal to my colleagues to support this bill so that it will pass second reading. Thank you. Honorable Lute. The mover of this uh, bill, Barrister Right Honorable Engineer Toby. I call you engineer because you have done what all engineers in Nigeria will be and are very proud of. Honestly speaking, what you have done has said it all. Ours is just to support it, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Mr. Speaker, the entire amendment desirability is to fight Quackley. Quackley has been the bane of engineering in Nigeria, and in fact, not only engineering, all professions. And because of that, the nation has encountered so many losses. The engineers themselves, they have been discredited professionally so many a times. In fact, even the nation, Mr. Speaker, has come to realize so many embarrassments because of 
partly in engineering. And Mr. Speaker, I believe by the time we pass this bill into second reading, then most of the problems bedeviling this country with regards to development will be cured. Mr. Speaker, engineering is such a profession that its services, deliveries are of tangible nature. So there is no excuse other than to ensure accuracy, to ensure good deliverance and satisfaction of customers, stakeholders, and the nation. And that is why, Mr. Speaker, we must put everything right and fight quickly. And Mr. Speaker, when this principal law was enacted or was promulgated during the military, then certain issues were not considered because either the sophistication has not reached that time or the human nature has not conceived that there will be quackery in such colossal nature. And Mr. Speaker, that is why we want this law to be amended. And rather than being mayor, regulatory uh, uh, council that cannot punish, that cannot exercise control, even on its own members, then it is better we make it an association or an, a profession that can even discipline its members and also ensure good deliverance of its activities nationwide. Mr. Speaker, I wholeheartedly urge all of us, because this is about saving the human race, saving Nigeria, saving our economy. If we put everything correctly, then the engineering profession will ensure speedy delivery, uh, delivery of vital services for the development of this country. Mr. Speaker, I so support this bill, and I urge all of us to support it for second reading. Thank you. This bill is an all-important one. This present current act only talks about registration and licenses of professional of engineers and firms all over the country. The act doesn't give them power to oversight their activities. That is why we have quacks, that is why we have collab buildings, that is why we have equipment that will fail. There is need to empower the council so that they can completely oversight engineering activities in the nation. In Nigeria today, we have a lot of firms that will just walk into the country, take millions or billions nairas of jobs, and they are not registered with current. Current cannot even oversight their activities and they get away with a lot of things. By the time this bill is passed into law, that would be a foregone conclusion. And current itself, Mr. Speaker, should be self-funded. But current, because of the fact that most people are practicing without registering with current, they have no fund to carry out their activities. They still have to wait for government funding this house, if you check year and year, some part of our, some part of our annual appropriation are voted for current. That should not be. Current should be self-funded. By the time this Order. is passed into law, Order, all honorable members, please. practicing engineers and firms in Nigeria honorable Kamale. Honorable Kamale. Honorable Kamale, honorable Kamale please. Current, we have a lot of fund, fund coming in for them. So I urge my colleagues to pass this bill speedily. Thank you. Honorable Chris, second reading. The bill in question is supposed to be the gift of this Eighth Assembly to the general engineering practice in Nigeria. Considering the all important 
fact that Nigeria today is seeking for diversification. And the only clear drive to diversify is to apply technology in all spheres of our life, livelihood. And this bill seeks to ensure that the engineering practice in Nigeria is solidly in the hands of those who are qualified to be engineers. And in the engineering, fam engineering family. Engineering family comprises the engineers, the technicians, and the technologists. And all the personnel who are going to practice the art of engineering in the country to be able to drive our economy. And if we must do that, ranging from construction to general production to processing, every sphere where engineers are or technicians or technologists are required to work must be properly regulated. And we know those who are carrying out the practices. So this bill is going to be a vehicle that will take us out of where we are so that we we'll become effectively in trusting our, uh, our economy in the hands of those who can drive it. Engineers are going, or technologists, or technicians are the people that will spearhead the issue of industrialization, the issue of production, and the issue of export of goods and services that we intend to do. So the call for us to amend this bill is very important, and it will help our economy. Without wasting time, I am asking my colleagues to bring this gift to the family of engineers and technicians and technologists in Nigeria so that you can entrust them with the responsibility of building strong bridges, strong roads, aircraft, vehicles, equipment that we need to develop what we call capital uh, assets. Once that is done, we will make sure that all graduates of engineers in the country are compelled to do what they need to do and we will, as a nation, entrust them with that responsibility to put Nigeria on the map of the world, from being technologically disadvantaged to an advanced nation. And with that, we will become a developed nation. I want to thank you for this opportunity. And I call on my colleagues to support this bill for a second. Of goods and services, particularly, in my own case, the issue of infrastructure. This bill tend to make the uh, toothless bulldog, the Council for Registration of Engineers, it will now become Council for Regulation of Engineering. We need to regulate. And what are the premises? Number one, it is changing from simple registration to comp It will also help us to check quackery because now the parameters are wider. The personnel, engineering personnel that are captured to be registered on control, the basket is bigger. So uh, making the council to be self-sustaining, self-funding, because it defines the sources of revenue and the utilization of such revenues in conjunction with our uh, appropriation uh, function. So this is a very, very important amendment bill, and I call on our members to really give it a rocket science uh, consideration for the second reading. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. For the regulation of engineering in Nigeria was established. Changing the word registration to regulation means a lot. It means the council will be both responsible for registration and regulation of the practice of engineering in Nigeria. Unlike there are so singular function of uh, registration in the past. Again, um, I was fascinated with the establishment of engineering, uh, the engineering technologies, like the craftsmen, like the technicians, and even these new other professionals that are being incorporated in the representation of these other uh, engineering personnel be increased from one one person uh, to let's say two two or three three person so that they can be adequately represented so that they can also make their inputs at uh, every decision of the council so uh, mr Speaker, honorable colleagues i also want to uh, support this bill order okay. please motorcycle repairer will be called an engineer mr speaker most of the firms, Mr. Speaker, that are taking our contracts in huge sum of money, some are now other professions like pharmacists, 
You can't even import a drug without a registered pharmacist. You can't practice medicine without a medical doctor, Mr. Speaker. But in Nigeria, Mr. Speaker, because of lack of 18.5, which deals with the offenses and penalties, makes liable any person or organization who offers engineering services and works or charges a profession fee without valid license. Another disturbing aspect, Mr. Speaker, if you look at most of the MDS in the country, Mr. Speaker, areas which lawyers protect their own, which medical doctor can be minister of housing, you can be minister without being an engineer. Mr. Speaker, I think we need to look at our professions and ensure that we put a square peg in a square hole so as not to create a vacuum in terms of the person you're trying to explain to him what and what you want to do in engineering. That person is not a profession. That is why a, uh, uh, MDAs, I think this also will augur well for progress in that MDA because the person you are appointed must be not legible and a professional in that field, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, with this little contribution, I have so many things, but because of time, I urge my colleagues to... In favor of the motion, say aye. Those against it, say nay. I serve it. Clerks invited to read the long title of the bill. To amend the Engineers Registration Council, etc. Act, Cap E11, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004, to introduce new register for engineering firms, include engineering personnel, broaden the power of the council and its registrar, and the recognition of other professional bodies outside the Nigerian Society of Engineers to nominate representatives to the council, among other things, and for related matters. Second reading. To increase its membership and functions for strategic operations and interests and to vest in the authority powers to establish farm settlements across.